What's up everyone? I will answer your question right off the bat. Yes, I am indeed rocking the man bun because uh, all of this takes a lot of work. So uh, in this episode, we are going to jump right in to where we left off in the previous episode. And I'm thinking we are going to start making um, the page we did last time uh, responsive instead of doing the new one. So let's just dive in and get to it. So as you can see, I got the um, code pin page, the full view this time open up right here. Uh, so what I want to do is make it so if we scale down, it is all responsive all the way through. Um, so let's go back to the code and just jump into it. So what we are going to do is start writing some media queries to tweak stuff. Um, first thing I want to do, uh, let's tweak this font size because it's a bit huge um, on this size display. So um, I was working on a bigger display previously. Um, I scaled it down and now it looks uh, way too much. So I'm going to scale down the font size. Whoops. So let's go down to the post. We're going to do the post title. Let's try 1.75m to start. That might be too big still. That's way better than it was before. And let's change this from 1.15 or 1.25 to 1.1. That's better. I'm, I'm just gonna try 1.5 for the title. <laughs> I think I like it slightly bigger, so I'm gonna keep it as it was. All right, so uh, let's I'm just going to hide the JS section for now. And actually, let's hide the um, HTML as well. So I'm going to go down here and write some media queries. So I'm going to do at media, at media only screen. And we're going to do a max width of, let's say, uh, let's just start at 1,000 pixels. So what this is doing is it's applying um, this all the styles in here get applied only when the viewport is uh, less than 1000 pixels wide so for example I could do let's just test it out and see how that works I'm gonna grab this post class and let's do display none so save that refresh so for above 1,000 pixels, they display. Once we get below that, you can see down at the bottom down here, as I scale this, uh, 959 above 1,000, boom, boom, boom. Cool. So that is indeed working. Um, 1,000 pixels might be too much. Let's try 800. Let me run that. You know, I think I'm going to do it slightly larger, maybe 850. Because um, you can see at around um, 8, um, 815 ish pixels wide, it, uh, it starts to break these right here. We could fix that by lowering the font size, um, maybe shrinking the padding. You know, let's, uh, let's do that actually. 850, let's just tweak the font sizes. All right, so let's go back up and grab that stuff. So uh, we're going to want to change this padding right here. So I'm going to copy this, copy the title, and just going to copy all of this inside section. Um, let's post it or paste it underneath the dot post class. Uh, we can remove this because that gets applied already. We're not changing that. Um, let's try tweaking it to maybe 7.5%. Uh, save and run. Okay, so it has a bit more breathing room. I want to drop the font size to 1.5M and let's drop this size font size to uh, 1M. And since we're not changing the margin right, let's just remove that as well. Save and run. 
Beautiful. All right, that looks good. So above that, it's a bit bigger. We could even make it for larger displays, like above 1600 pixels, we could do, maybe we should tweak it on larger displays to do three column. I kind of like that idea. So let's write a media query for that. So I'm going to copy that, uh, close it. We are going to tweak this a bit. We're going to do a uh, min width of 1600 pixels. So what that, that means is we're doing max width. So that means everything up to 850 pixels. But for the min width, it's everything um, above 1600 pixels. Does that make sense? I'm not sure if I'm explaining that well, but hopefully it does. So let's grab the post and we're going to change the width. Uh, the height can probably stay the same. Let's just grab this for now. And we want each one to be, th um, we want three columns. So uh, three divided by 100 is, we got to do like 33. 0.3333. Uh, let's save that and test it out. Um, 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 um. Okay, we don't actually get to 1600. This is about 1600. Beautiful. Okay, so below that, it should drop two columns. Above that, it should be three columns. Awesome. So let's go back to the code and uh, tweak it a bit more. So above 1600, that's good. I think the font size and such should stay the same. Um, I like that it's three columns and yeah. Yeah, this looks good. So the main thing we need to do is make sure that it doesn't break the layout when you get to a smaller size. So what we want to do, I would say about 500 pixels at the um, latest. So I'm just gonna copy this, go down to the bottom and let's do another one. Max width of 500 pixels. Uh, let's grab this post width and let's change it to 100%. Save, run this, beautiful. <laughs> I kind of love this. Um, so there's not gonna be a device that goes below like 300 pixels, uh, not that I know of at least because it's not like you can view the web on an Apple Watch or something. Um, so I think this should be good. I do want to tweak the font sizes a bit smaller though. So I'm going to grab, I like the 7.5% width, so I'm going to keep that. Then inside of here, let's change the font size. Let's do 0.375 and maybe 0.9 M, save and refresh. Okay, and I also want to change the min height because this is kind of large. So just on mobile size, we are going to change the min height. Let's say, let's try 300 pixels to start. There we go. I like that. Okay, okay. So that is kind of all we needed to do for the responsive stuff. Um, it's actually pretty damn simple. You know, I think we have time to do a bit more stuff. Let's just keep the media queries as they are because I think this is really all we need in terms of responsiveness. It looks, it breaks at each point. Actually, this is kind of weird. That's kind of effed up. So what I should probably do is, 
I could change it to 600 pixels, maybe like 650. Let's just try that. Um, 650 pixels wide. So that would target all of mobile, some tablets. Um, an iPad would still be two column. Yeah, I, I don't mind that actually. Okay, let me look it uh, on here. Let me just scale it down. That looks good. Then above 1600, it goes to a three column. I dig that. Beautiful. All right, so one other thing I need to do. Okay, so. If you think about it, each one of these is going to be a link. So let's just put in a tag wrapping around a href and we'll just um, stub it out for the time being. Tab that in and close that a tag. All right, save and run that. So now when we hover over it, Okay, so what I want to do, so you should be able to click anywhere in here. Let, let me just test this out. HTTPS um, www.unicast.com. Save and run. So if I click on this block, it should take me to Unicast. Why is that not working? So I can see at the bottom um, left corner that the link is going to Unicast, but maybe CodePen prevents it from linking out. Not quite sure. Either way, let's just undo that. I want to add a hover state. So when you hover over the post, it changes the color. So maybe we can get away with just darkening each one. Let me try that to start. If not, we may need to do what we did before and change all of these colors individually based on the card color. So I'm going to do and colon hover. And let's just do background. Um, you know what? I am going to have to do it for each individual one because each one has a different color. So I'm going to do darken red and let's do like just 10%. Um, but what I am going to do is go up to the post class and down here I'm going to do transition uh, background 0.4 s ease dash in dash out. Um, so that's going to animate the background uh, fading to the new color instead of it just being like uh, a snap. So let me uh, try that out. Cool, cool. So that looks a little weird. Maybe we should change that color too. Um, but let me copy this and see how it does on the green. Save and run. Beautiful. Okay. 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 So let's do the same for the other ones. Change this to purple, lime green, pink, orange, and yellow, and also blue. Save and refresh. Cool. All right, so. I'm going to put a tag around these other ones. Oops, tab over. Uh, 
All right, so I want to also, we have four other colors, I believe. One, two, three, yep, we have four other colors. So I'm just going to copy all of this stuff and let's see what it looks like with each color. Let's change this one to blue, this one to yellow, this one to orange, and this one to pink. Haha, -ha. see what it looks like full width. <laughs> this is awesome. I am digging this a lot. Cool. So, um, this is a fantastic start. I think that's all I'm going to do in this episode. Uh, in the next episode, we will jump on the blog single page. All right, I will see you guys next time.